Creating a timer in C Sharp is easier than one might think. I started by creating a label and a button to start, stop and display the timer. In the code, I first check whether the timer is already running. First, I declared a datetime variable to save the time the timer was started, as well as a bool to indicate whether the timer has been stopped. When the button is pressed and the timer is not currently running, you need to set the time started to the current time and set the bool to true. Next, start the timer method in a new thread like this. Also, set the button's text to stop timer. Let's add some logic to stop the timer. Next, we will create the timer method. In it, we check whether the timer has been stopped already. If not, we subtract the current time from the start time. Since we are in a thread and cannot change the UI directly from here, we need to use the dispatcher to change the label's content. Set the label's text to the current timer time. Now, add a thread, sleep method and call our timer function at the end. Let's run the code to see how it looks. As you can see, the timer's refresh rate is too low. To fix this, adjust the time the thread sleeps. And voila, the timer works just as intended. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.